the current collectibles here for an action figure review. Today, we are looking at the 2022 Hasbro Marvel Legends Darwin, part of the X-Men Bonebreaker Build-A-Figure Wave. He comes in a standard Marvel Legends box. The comic book art on both sides and back is by David Nakayama. Short read-up on the back says, True to his name, Darwin has the power to adapt against any threat, be it searing volcanic heat or the cold vacuum of space. The head sculpt of Darwin is new with a very long face and all white eyes. The shading on his head is somewhat brownish to highlight the sculpted details. In terms of his arms, there is a butterfly joint. He is on a slender body with no sculpted costume details. All are painted. He has a new belt. Since this is an old body mold, he still has spins on his elbows, but it's not noticeable. Compared to the retro Spider-Man where the pins are of a different color to the body, Darwin has the same color for pins and arms, so it is not noticeable and it looks okay. Just a quick thank you to MarvelousNews.com for featuring my action figure reviews. For more action figure news, check out MarvelousNews.com, link on the description below. Darwin made his first comic book appearance in X-Men Deadly Genesis No. 2, published February 2006. On the last few pages of the comic book, a new character backstory is included about Darwin. Armando Munoz is a mutant, and this difference caused a separation between his parents. As a very smart kid, he did well in school but he was bullied a lot. During the encounter, he realized that he can adapt to keep himself alive. He started breathing underwater and he is also capable of making his body a weapon like a rock hand. Scientists discovered that Darwin is in a constant state of evolution. As mentioned in my Vulcan review, Darwin is part of the Young Mutants' tasks to save the missing X-Men in Krakoa. In the battle, the whole team perished and Darwin, trying to survive and be alive, bonded himself in the dying body of Vulcan. Rachel Summers discovered that Darwin kept Vulcan alive by this bond. Rachel then separated Darwin from Vulcan's body. In the current Krakoan X-Men, Darwin, with X-23 and Cinch, was sent to explore the vault. In there, time runs faster, and here they battle the children of the vault. Over the years, Darwin was eventually captured, and it seems that the children from the vault learn a lot from Darwin. The upcoming issue of X-Men shows that the children of the vault is able to beat the X-Men. Darwin comes with a pair of closed fist hands, which is a bit huge, also a pair of open palm or grabbing hands. In terms of height, the action figure is 16.2 cm or 6.4 inch tall. With regards to his actual height, according to marble.com, he is 6 feet 4 inches tall. Here are some Marvel Legends size comparisons, beginning with Miles Morales and Ben Riley, Wolverine and Vulcan, Stepford Cocos and Rogue, Captain Britain and Omega Red. Figures of the same body mold, the Wild Child and Professor X or Charles Xavier. Here we have Marvel Select 7-inch scale figures, Juggernaut, and Saber Toot. In terms of articulation, his head can move up, move down that far, move from side to side. He can extend his arms that far. He can do a full 360. He has a bicep swivel, double jointed elbows. His wrist can swivel and hinge. He can crunch forward and back. He has a waist swivel. He can do a split. He has an upper thigh swivel double jointed knees he can kick forward that far he has an ankle rocker one of the least known x-men this darwin action figure comes with the least amount of accessories as well it would be helpful to show how his power is represented 
probably giving him some rock hands or anything that can show how he adapt and survive thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed this video please like share subscribe comment and ring the notification bell